Next up, at UFC 290, we have Shannon Ross taking on Jesus Aguilar. Shannon Ross, 13-7 and seven overall, 2-3 and three in his last five, looking for his first UFC win. He's taking on Jesus Aguilar, 8-2 and two overall, 4-1 and one in his last five. He's coming off a submission loss to Tatsuro Tyra. What do you want? Uh, can you switch back to the Esteban picture real quick? Just boom, boom. I updated it. Now go back. Now go to where you were. Yeah, I think Shannon Ross is just like Esteban with a beard. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably like just yeah, different hair. <laughs> just, yeah, I think that. so. A holy beard shit. and a tan. A beard and a tan. How did you spot that? I got I got special powers right now. <laughs> when it comes to identifying men's makeups. Anyway, Shannon Ross is actually a pretty well-rounded guy, right? His primary discipline is wrestling, but he does get sucked into some back-and-forth firefights. He has two losses under the UFC umbrella, but they both showed how tough he is, but also how hittable he can be. He comes forward, he puts on volume, he throws with intent, but he gets hit a lot. So he is a busy guy who fights hard. He's got solid takedowns. He is willing to train, but he gets hit, and I'm going to keep saying that over and over and over again because... Dude gets hit. You're going to see the stats in a second. It's bad. Jesus? It's bad. No, Shannon. Jesus Aguilar is a solid grappler himself. He has a knack for finding guillotines. He actually, like, hunts for guillotines. He doesn't just jump it like it. Cody that. Brundage, that absolute muppet. He'll actually, like, set it up, try to find it, work from there. It's stupid. I, I think guillotines are the dumbest thing in the world. But I was the inventor of guillotines are the worst thing ever. Especially We've these days, about that for years I bet they because... have like a fucking, I bet the success rate around, what do you think the success rate of a guillotine is? I would say like 15%, 10%. It's gotta be less than that, man. It's gotta be less than that. It's bad. It's bad. It's, so I, we mentioned this in the past. I've coached youth wrestling for, not since I moved to Texas, but for many, many, many years, the jumping guillotine is the equivalent of a side headlock in wrestling. We would make kids do, even if they won with a side headlock, a hundred pushups. Because it's just a bad habit to get into. And if you just get comfortable with it, you're going to do it forever. And it's stupid. It's stupid. Back in the day, you could get it from like any angle. But now it's like unless you're in people full know. guard, yeah. you, you you just people are just too good defensively now. And even full guard people pop out of them all the time. I hear you, dog. Anyway, Jesus Aguilar finds that guillotine. He gets it. He is not just jumping it pathetically. Like he's literally setting it up. It's his go-to submission win. And he'll do it even when he's on top. So he's not just pulling guard or any of that nonsense. But he does set them up and he looks for him. He can strike as well. He's got solid combinations. He looks like he has some pretty good power. He's a bit wild. He's very active. He's fun to watch. He's coming off that submission loss to Tatsuro Taira where I joked in the Quick Picks video he doubled Tatsuro's strikes in that fight. Do you know how many strikes he landed? Doubled Tatsuro's. I wasn't listening to you. Two. He landed two. Tatsuro landed one strike, one by submission. Jesus Aguilar landed too. Pretty impressive. Anyway, there's a real oh, Mexico. Oh, I had the most significant strikes that fight, that bet. I had $10,000 on it. Wow. And you still live in that? Uh, obviously, I'm not in my car right now, so I think we're doing okay. I think Jesus wins. Clear Mexico push going on here. Uh, I think this, the, the fact that Shannon is so insanely hittable is going to work for Jesus. Here's the stats. The dude is hit with nine significant strikes per minute. Jacob, what are your thoughts? I got to talk through the monitor because these girls are not going to bed. You're going to yell at them? Oh, look at this. Oh, shit. Look, let's try and read lips. Lay the fuck down and go to fuck. Let's read the lips. Sit the fuck down, you. If you don't. <laughs> hold on, hold on. We'll do, we'll do lip reading. Hold on. I said you stu. <laughs> No! I, what the fuck did I just say? <laughs> Alright, I think I, we're good. They insist oh. on, in the summer, that, can we sleep in the same bed? Can we sleep? They hate each other, but can we sleep in the same bed? And then on the monitor, now the little one's screaming. It's a whole thing. All right, and they're ahead. 20s. They're 20. <laughs> 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 what are they doing? What the fuck? Um, did I break down this fight yet? No. Okay, so what I was going to say, because I kind of... St- scoffed at your saying uh jesus kind of throws uh good combinations or whatever because we this is another fight that we broke down in the film room and when that guy throws it is an, a swinging wild overhand right file f- followed by a swinging wild overhand left where he's just like this 
just throwing it with his chin straight up in the air. And, and then he'll either use that to close the distance and then work for a takedown, or he'll just fucking throw that and not give a fuck. And I have to imagine that Shannon knows that's coming and can time it. But the issue is... I don't trust either one of these guys. Jesus should have the advantage here in the grappling, in the wrestling, but his takedowns are not very good. Sometimes he has a good timing on the takedowns, and if he has good timing on takedowns when people are getting over aggressive, he can get good takedowns. But when he is shooting takedowns and he is getting people up against the fence, it is those stupid fucking lat drop takedowns and it didn't work a few times in his fights the person just fell straight in the full mount on his back and he's such a small dude that um you know if he can't get the takedowns I, I think he might be in trouble on the feet in this fight but if Shannon Ross gets submitted or knocked out I'm not gonna be surprised as well so just because of the stripe striking discrepancies that I believe Jesus has I'm gonna go with Shannon Ross but as you know, as an underdog pick for sure, I think this is more of a 50-50 fight, so I'll take the dog here. But I don't, I, I don't trust him. I'm not putting any money on him. I mean, if I'm making a pick, that's my pick. But I, I don't trust either one of these guys to put money on him. For Jesus is almost two to one, or Shannon Ross is a dog. I, I think you just stay away from this fight. Yeah, I mean, nine significant to get hit with nine significant strikes per minute. And it's not like he just but had he, I mean, one Jesus fight in the strikes are just so fuck. I mean, he just cocks that thing back and just so know, telegraphed. It's a, it's a little bit different. It's a little bit different. Yeah, I mean, we're on opposite sides of this one for sure. Uh, would you like to bet $100? I would love to bet $100. With the odds? No, not with the odds. Be a man. You said it was a 50-50 fight. You I mean, I'm like, said... I, I literally just sat here okay. and said, I wouldn't put money on Shannon Ross. And now you're calling me like a pussy like I was like touting him. You said I said I wouldn't put any money on him, so if I am, I do want the odds. Very soft. <laughs> yeah, um, I mean, it's just fucking anyway. common sense. You can play it however you want. You're the one that's pushing out. I accept a bet with the with the odds, and you're saying no. That's okay, what just fine. Right I'll now. take it. Minus one. There you go. I just bullied you into that fucking <laughs> no, no. bet. You beta bitch. <laughs> go to the <laughs> okay, next sure. fight. Let's go. Let's move on. Let's sure. Yeah. Move on. Beta. Do Who as just I say. Sent me the hundred dollars. Do last as time? I say. I'll move kick on. you out of here. I'll do this show by myself. Watch if I get. Let's an move on. Fuck. Let's see what happens here. I said move on. Um, eighty-six hundred dollars in DraftKings. I don't mind that on uh, Jesus. I do think he wins, obviously, and I think he wins by finish. We've seen that before. You gonna spend seventy-six hundred dollars on your boy Shannon? I said I don't trust him, and I wouldn't bet on him, so he's not going okay. to my lineup. But good thing you told everybody that he's your pick. Great. Well, I, um, we got to make picks, right? You only, if, so if I sat here and was like, no pick for me, you'd be like, oh, oh my God, <laughs> that's not how this works. And then you'd come and you'd, talk, you'd call HR and then Martha would come the I next day, up. sit me down and be like, listen, this is third, third strike and you're out. You're just trying to set me up for this third strike is what you're doing. I'm just, I'm just looking forward to getting my money. We want picks.com become a premium member. You get access to all the bets, but not just the bets. You also get the optimizer. You'll get the detailed data and metrics. You'll get the line movement tracker. You'll get Artem's picks. He's a, he's, a, he's got the sniffles this week, so. But you'll get Artem's picks. You'll get everything else. We want picks.com. It's only $10 a month. Just click become a member Karen at Angel. the top. Oh, I like that. 